Mitt Romney put out a statement saying that he was, quote, appalled that, among other things, fellow citizens working in a campaign for president welcomed help from Russia, including information that had been illegally obtained, that none of them acted to inform American law enforcement. That's again, a, it's again, it's good news man, that there is insufficient man, evidence, but man, what, what about the willingness? I could tell you the things he wanted to do. That Rudy Giul that, no, that, that, that guy wanted to do. Come on. Man. What do you mean the things that stop the bull? Wanted? Stop the bull. Stop this pious act that you weren't digging, up, trying to dig up dirt on people, putting dirt out on people. Who Mitt Romney? When he was running for president, he ran, I ran against him. Right. So did John McCain run against him? But he wasn't accepting information from foreign. I don't know if he was accepting information from foreign. Who who says that the president accepted information from foreigners? You mean people on his campaign might have done it? But First the, of all, the Trump Tower meeting, I think, is what he was referring to—the willingness to sit down with Russians offering dirt on Hillary Clinton. That is what, what Mitt Romney seems to be talking about. What a hypocrite! But why is that any candidate, any candidate in the whole world in America, would take information negative from to a foreign your... source, from a hostile foreign source? Who says it's even illegal? Who says it's even illegal? And does the information turn out to be false? By the way, the information that was gleaned and disseminated, every newspaper printed it. Why did the Washington Post print the information that came from a foreign source when they knew it was hacked? Aren't they just as wrong for doing that as the campaign wanting to use it? Why, why do you think, Mitt, Rom why do you think Mitt Romney is a hypocrite if he is Because saying, Mitt Romney did things very similar to that. Taking information no, from Russians? No, no. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with taking information from Russians. There's nothing it, wrong with taking information. It depends information. on where it came from. It depends on where it came from. You're assuming that the giving of information is a campaign contribution. You read the report carefully. Mm -hmm. The report says we can't conclude that because the law is pretty much against that. Do you th people get information from this person, that person? So this you person? you would have accepted information from Russians against a client, against a, against a candidate, if you were running in the presidential I, election? I probably I probably wouldn't. I wasn't asked. I would have advised just out of excess of caution, don't do it. I'll give you another thing. But you're though. saying but you're saying there was nothing wrong with doing that. You, I mean that's there's no just, there's no crime. I'm not talking about crime. I'm talking about we're going to get into morality. morality. Yeah. Well, that isn't what prosecutors look at, morality. No, but that's what Mitt Romney, but that's what Mitt Romney is but referring to. But this didn't to. become an international scandal because of immorality. It became an international scandal because the president was accused of violating the law falsely, and now nobody wants to try to figure out who did it, because that's the real wrongdoing here. And the reality is... But you don't when, think this is immoral or unethical to take Well, suppose help. I do. Yeah. I'm going to prosecute people for immoral... I'm unethical. not talking about the I'm going to go look at every... This. I'd like to take a good look at Romney's campaign and see if there were any immoral or, or unethical things done by the people working for him that he didn't know about. If, if there weren't, then it was the only campaign in history because he's maybe as holier than the holiest one. There's no campaign in history but do you that think, hasn't you, done that. You think that there shouldn't be a high standard for the president of the United States that he, he not... You are campaign? mixing up two things. Ethics and law is what I'm... Number mixing. one. Yeah. Number one. Number two, you're mixing up what happens at this level of campaign and what the candidate knows about. Well, I mean, Donald this, this level was the campaign chairman, uh, the president's son, and the president's son But it son wasn't the president. It was not the president. But that's not and, a low and, level. That's a high level, the, campaign chairman and his well, okay. son and son-in-law. People other than the candidate. Right. People other than the candidate. The, the question is, did Donald Trump, let's call that collude, collude with the Russian. The answer is, he didn't collude with them, he didn't conspire with them, he didn't coordinate with them, and all of that that was run against him, wait now, yeah. all of that that was run against him, two FBI investigations has found out to be false. And now that it's over... Well, insufficient evidence. And now... In insufficient evidence. Well, no, not on collusion. Right. They said they could not find criminal... They could not find sufficient evidence they of criminal conspiracy. They couldn't find a single piece of evidence for anything. Hacking, dissemination... There's an entire volume of, of evidence that just yeah, doesn't rise to criminality. There's an entire volume of stuff. Of stuff. Not of well, evidence. You can call it stuff, but Mitt Romney obviously finds it offensive well, that fellow citizens working you, on a campaign you, welcomed you help from Russia. But you're, you're quoting Mitt Romney like he's an unbiased source. This man has a whole history of awful things said about uh, Donald Trump, including he's morally unfit to be president. Before he ever knew anything but you, about it. You just said you wouldn't accept help from the Russians if you were I don't know if I would or I wouldn't. I, 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 the legal advice I would give is out of an excess of caution, don't do it. But maybe that's informed somewhat by what is going on right now and what we've learned since then. The reality is you're picking on a minor point when the major point is he was pursued for years for a false charge. Two FBI investigations, one with four affidavits for electronic surveillance that turn out to be fraudulent. That's a big crime. Now, yeah. it turns out he didn't do it. Isn't anybody in the media interested in how did this happen? 
Does this just an accident? With the investigation into the president, how did it happen? Yeah, yeah, we, we know the, the, no, you don't know. the volume uh, no, you don't. You lays never out the detail of, of, of how and why it started. Uh, no, 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 they didn't. It what started they, with George Papadopoulos and somebody you would never, him. You never would have started an investigation of a major party candidate, of the candidate, but the, based on a, wait, the DNC based on was one, hacked and John Podesta was, spear, was spearfished and, and, and all these e emails were illegal. those two things are disconnected. Trump had not nothing to do with that. The, no, it's They're not said, disconnected. They were, that's what they were investigating, Russian Jake, election. You're election. fighting it. You're fighting it so hard. It's no, so, and it's so obvious. No, I'm just pointing out the facts in the report, But there's sir. a prejudice, I got to tell you. It's just assumed that anything about him, we're going to magnify it, and anything about the other side, we don't look at. The, the whole situation of Papadopoulos, to a trained investigator, mm. is extremely, unbelievably suspicious. The man is given one little piece of information. The Russians, the have, Russians have Hillary Clinton. By a Maltese counterintelligence guy. Okay. Uh, by Mifsud. Mifsud. Yeah. And then he repeats it a month later to an Australian guy with a very shady background, big contributor to Hillary Clinton, even though he's an Australian. He's a contributor to Hillary Clinton, he's an Australian. You can't contribute no, no, to he's a, he's, I think he's a citizen now. Not, not illegal. He raised money for it, helped to get money. Oh, oh to the foundation. I'm sorry. To the Clinton to the foundation. foundation. Can I ask you a question about that? Wait, Donald wait, Gaines? no, I want to finish the thought. It's a really important thought. Oh, no. That man is told the same information that Mifsud. Gave him, and all it says is the Russians. The Russians have, have information. These emails okay. from Hillary Clinton. That does not justify. But that's. Tr but it was true, and it was an attack. But on it the doesn't United States. justify an investigation of Donald Trump as candidate for president of the United States. There is right now as much evidence that Obama may have known about the Steele dossier and affidavits as Trump might have known about that. In fact, more because there's a text between Struck and Page. I don't know any saying. I, well, oh, yes, you do. I, Struck, that Struck Barack and Obama, Page said the administration. Obama knew. They said the the Obama administration is on top of this. I want to. I want to go. I didn't I, say he knew. Yeah. I said there's evidence that would suggest you should follow it up and find out. Okay. I, I will investigate I, him. I want to ask you because you've been talking about Don. If we McGann. did that, this place would go crazy. I want to. I want to talk about Don McGahn because the the question of obstruction of justice is one of is the second volume. Uh, of Correct. this report. Um, in uh, one of the examples of potential, it doesn't reach an, a conclusion, it kicks it to Congress, obstruction of justice has to do with President Trump directing White House counsel at the time, Don McGahn, to have Rod Rosenstein fire the special counsel. You said that account from McGahn was, quote, inaccurate. And McGahn's attorney responded saying, quote, it's a mystery why Rudy Giuliani feels the need to relitigate incidents that the attorney general and deputy attorney general have concluded were not obstruction, but they are accurately described in the report. So McGahn is standing by his account which, as Mueller, the, the account of well, that President Trump lawyer, told him I would to ask get rid lawyer, of uh, Rob, his, Bob Mueller. Have you read, read page 117, 118 of the report? I would ask which of the three versions is McGahn standing by? There are three versions he gives of that account. Mm -hmm. Version number one, which we put in the New York Times, which maybe he no, did. No, let's, let's just stick to, the, to what's no, in the Mueller report. Now. It's all in the report. Mm -hmm. I'll get out 117 if you want. Mm -hmm. they, they do recite it, but then they select the version most harmful to the president. Version number one. But which part do you dis dispute? Which well, one I have to you... explain it. Mm -hmm. The first version that he, that, that, that he says is, the president told me to fire him because he was upset about conflict of interest, and I told him I'd resign. Version number one. Right. He then corrects it and says, oh, mistake. He never told, he never, he never, he never said fire, and I never told him I'd resign. He said get rid of him. He no, can't, he no, can't there's an intermediate counsel. step. He can't be special He said he, he has conflicts. And he shouldn't be special counsel. He shouldn't counsel. be special counsel. Well, what does that convey to you? What does that suggest to well, you? It's far different than fire. Fire is nice and clear. Fire is get rid of him. He shouldn't be special counsel. He shouldn't be special counsel means it's wrong that he's special counsel. It doesn't say any specific action. Mm -hmm. Well, then he changes it again and says, well, I, I, I thought that meant get rid of him. That's what he even thought it meant. Well, okay, but that isn't, that isn't what he said. So you're not denying that he said he shouldn't be special counsel. You're denying that he meant to fire him. I, the point I was making is he has three different versions. Now, you tell me as a trial lawyer, what would I do with that? in front of a jury. Mm -hmm. Guy's got three different versions of something as important as this. You know what you do? You say, I can't rely on him. So Mueller actually, has to go, I think is the exact quote. No, Mueller has no, to no. go. No, 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 one version of it is, one version of it is he has conflicts and he shouldn't be special counsel. Quote, those are in quotes, right in the report, mm -hmm. middle of the page, page 117. Very sloppy. And then as a prosecutor, you can't select the version that's the most harmful. You've got to go with the version that's the most helpful in order to determine if there's so, 